Hello, this is Ahmed Al-Ghandour from Ozin Engineering. Uh, today I'm going to speak about the failure modes of the lithium-ion batteries. Uh, what do we do at Ozin? Ozin Engineering uh, is an elite channel partner that uses uh, physics-based simulation to solve multidisciplinary engineering problems using industry-leading uh, CEA technology. We deal with simulation like FEA, CFD, high and low frequency electromagnetics as well. Uh, before we start about the failure modes, uh, let's, let's talk about the battery. If we took the car, for example, uh, the battery in an electronic uh, vehicle car consists of uh, hundreds of uh, cell battery. Uh, the battery, what's called battery back, consists of uh, multiple of the cell, and this cell is cons uh, consists of multiple uh, components. Uh, the battery cell is basically consists of copper, copper foil and aluminum foil that from both sides that for uh, containing it and also containing the electrode and uh, it has a negative anode which is made from uh, graphite and it has a positive cathode which is uh, lithium coupled uh, oxides and then in the middle we have uh, a liquid that's called electrolyte and uh, it include a separator which is a porous medium uh, to allow the electrons to move in between. Uh, so how does the lithium uh, ion battery work? Uh, when we charge the battery, the electrons will move from the positive cathode to the negative anode. Uh, and when we discharge, it's vice versa. When we can see here the equations that happen here between the lithium cobalt uh, oxides and the graphite, and when we go to uh, discharge, that that will uh, what we'll get is going to get uh, LiC6, and vice versa. If we're doing a discharge, the graphite will be uh, separated. So, what are the different modes of failure uh, mechanisms for the for the lithium-ion uh, uh, batteries? Uh, there are different modes, including uh, chemicals, mechanicals, thermal. So here is some lists of uh, these modes. For example, we have the, the, for the anode, which is one of the active uh, materials, uh, it can have uh, failure modes uh, such as thickening of solids. Uh, uh, it also can have, you can see there is a, some chemical reduction uh, re and reaction and uh, depositions. This is what we call wear out, and this can have effect on the uh, charge uh, it can affect the charge resistance. We can see here increased charge transfer resistance and reduction of the capacity and reduction of power. What is the failure mode that we might expect here? We can have chemical side reactions between the lithium electrode and solvent. Here is the likelihood of occurrence, severity of the occurrence, and the ease of uh, detection. There is different modes related to the anode, such as particle fracture, reduced electrode uh, porosity, lithium plate, plating and uh, dendrite growth on anode surface. Uh, they are under wear out, most of them, but also we have overstress. Similar, uh, other mode failures can happen to the anode as current collector. Uh, in this case, the copper part is responsible for that. So the free copper particles or copper uh, plating we can see this is due to chemical corrosion, reaction, and dissolution, which is a wear out mechanism. And also this will affect uh, on the resistance. It will increase the resistance and reduce the power and reduce the current density. And over time, there is gonna be over discharge of the battery, uh, which is obviously we don't want. Similar mode, uh, modes of failure happens also on the cathode especially for the, the, the first, the active part uh, component. Uh, we can see also uh, on the cathode at uh, the current collector, which is the aluminum part in this case, uh, there's gonna be uh, pitting corrosion uh, of aluminum and due to the chemical corrosion reaction, which will cause wear out and uh, increase the same issues, increase the resistance, redu reduction of power and reduction of current. Uh, another one is the gas uh, in the cathode, I forgot to mention, uh, there is also gas generation and bloating of cell casing. This can cause uh, trouble of uh, affect the, 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 the life of the battery and reduce the capacity as well.
Uh, we can see here there's other uh, modes related to the lithium ions, some related to the uh, electrolyte salt, some to the organic solvents, and they are all changed between wear out and over stress due to the chemical reaction. And we can see the effects of this type of modes uh, mainly would be on the resistant capacity and power uh, factors of the, of the power cell. Same with the terminals, but the terminals here are metals uh, that can have extrusions and uh, can affect the, the path between the positive and the negative uh, connections of the battery cell. And this is because of the chemical uh, corrosion. Uh, we can see that it can affect uh, the, the, the effect will be high heat generation due to the joule heating and also bloating of cell casing and a drastic voltage reduction. Uh, solar cracking, that's also a serious uh, issue that could happen uh, because of the thermal fatigue me uh, and mechanical and vibration fatigue that will uh, lead to a circuit uh, disconnect and obviously failure of the battery. The casing can also have internal short circuit between the anode and the cathode because of the mechanical stresses due to impact or some uh, penetration from any external uh, uh, body that may hit the, uh, the battery. So besides these modes which is related to the uh, battery cell, there is also modes related to the pack as, 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 a, as a whole. Uh, one of the possible modes for that uh, can be uh, categorized as a battery operating condition and also chemical process. We can see that the battery operation condition failure which cover charging and discharging path, high and low temperature and vibration are great corrosion, great growth, and discharging of negative plate, dry out, and chemical process. One of the main leading uh, causes for battery failure is the great corrosion, uh, which, uh, in which the life expect uh, expectancy of the battery is limited due to the corrosion of the positive grid. Uh, great growth is a common uh, premature battery failure due to the crack of the battery uh, container, especially at the weakest link which is a terminal post, similar to the one we mentioned in the battery cell. I remember the cathode to, ca to a node uh, connection. Uh, also discharging of the negative plate over the uh, period of time. Uh, that's also a common uh, failure that happened to the uh, battery pack. Uh, negative plate take an oxygen release by positive plate during the charging process in which prevent the negative plate to reach fully charged states. Uh, catalysts that recom uh, recombine the oxygen and the hydrogen has been introduced introduced in the new battery design which reduce oxygen diffuse, uh, diffusing in, in uh, at negative plates. So as you can see most of the uh, problems are related to chemical uh, reactions or due to uh, accumulation of materials or oxide on some of the part or due to st uh, mechanical stress uh, on the different component uh, of the battery. Regarding some other mechanical failures, there is a thermal uh, failures, uh, puncture, crash, and overcharge. One of the most famous one is what's called thermal runaway. This is uh, happened due to the cell short circuit or internal short circuit, or sometime because the, the, the source of uh, current, uh, of the source of power produced high current or overcharging the battery or over discharge, uh, all of these can cause to, uh, can lead to uh, uh, um, what's called thermal runaway, which is sometimes could be dangerous because it sometimes reduce some gases and these gases are uh, flammable. So this is something uh, serious sometimes. Uh, the information presented here are mainly taken from these sources. So thanks to the creators of these sources. Uh, I will also add it uh, under the YouTube uh, video once this video is uploaded on YouTube. Uh, if you have any question, please contact us at info at .com or contact us on this number or visit our website www.ozeninc.com. Uh, we uh, provide ANSI simulation software, we uh, deliver the product and we also provide uh, consulting services based on FEA slash CFD. Uh, that will be it. Thank you so much.